Yo, so good afternoon everybody, how you doing? So today I'm going to tell you something that it took me a long time to learn, but I want you to be able to learn it in a very quick time frame. What it is is that oftentimes people will discuss or talk about how their secret knowledge, how there are groups or people who gather together and they express secret information that allows them to remain in power and become more powerful or have more success or have more money and all this sort of thing. And then what they give out to the people is this little tidbits of information. And then they'll also talk about how the rich keep getting richer and the powerful keep getting more powerful. And this is true. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's just true. That is how it works. But you need to understand that how it works doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change it. It just means you have to learn how to play that game so that you can then become part of that. You can then be able to exercise your ability to have the type of success in life that you choose. So what am I talking about? I'm not talking about hidden knowledge because here's the thing about it. The knowledge is right in front of your face. I've always said, and it has been said, that if you want to hide something, then hide it in the open. You know this. You've heard this before. If you want to hide something from people, hide it in the open. We used to say, if you want to hide something from people, put it in books. Well, now the books are all exposed. There's tons of video. There's speakers out there. There's people who are giving you all the information that can allow you to become wealthy, that can allow you to become successful. But, of course, people don't execute the way they should. If they did, then they will start to obtain this success. But it doesn't just mean, it, just, it doesn't just work in that way. There's another thing that you must understand. In order for to obtain this, there's another type of hidden information that is hidden from you. And that is the hidden practical application of anything. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's making money, whether it's spiritual, it doesn't matter. There are hidden practical applications that you are not giving the information directly. But it's in front of your face at all times. You see, back in the ancient days, there was a guy named Pythagoras. Now, if you've heard of the Pythagorean theorem, then that's where it came from. And if you understand geometry, Pythagoras gets the credit. But what you may or may not understand is that even though Pythagoras is given the credit for starting the Greek society, the Greek civilization back in the ancient times, what you do, do, know, do, do know or may not know is that Pythagoras actually studied and prepared himself for 20 years and then was allowed to go to the, the mystery schools in Egypt that was started by Akhenaten. And then from that training, he was able to do all the things that he did in the Greek culture. But he went 20 years of study before he was able to learn the practical steps, the practical application, the more, the deeper knowledge. And from there, um, Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, they all went to the same mystery schools as well. And then for centuries and centuries, information was hidden, and it was hidden because of, of being persecuted. So they didn't, they, they didn't put it out there. But now, all that information is readily available for you. That information has been readily available for you for a very, very long time. Now, those who were in power, they knew how to utilize it. Those who had money knew how to utilize it over and over again, and they were able to then progressively increase their wealth, increase their power. Now you can do the same thing, but you have to be able to do a couple of things to make it work. The first thing is that you have to be able to step back. You have to be able to step back and see the entire picture. You see, I went to a Secret of the Millionaire Mind Intensive program about 12 years ago. When I went to that program, one of the things that I learned is that the people who are teaching the programs, when you see it advertised on Facebook, when you see it on all these other medias, of the Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, the, the, the um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad programs. All these programs are designed to get you in, give you a little bit of information, some practical, well, give you a lot of information, actually, and then give you some, a little bit of practical app, but then you have to go step by step by step by step in order to get yourself to the next level, the next level, the next level. You see, the Millionaire Mind Intensive, in order to become one of the instructors, and trust me, on those weekends, they make about $3 million over the weekend, in order for you to become one of those instructors who can host one of those events, you first must become financially independent. That's the first step. You, by some other method, must become financially independent for you to then be able to teach one of those programs. The next thing that you have to do is in your process of becoming financially independent, you have to go to diff this next program, this next tra this training class, this warrior class over here, this one, this one, and that one. You have to go through all these classes 
which is gonna cost you about another twelve, fifteen thousand dollars and then you will be invited to become one of their instructors instructor if you gathered up all these different qualifications. Now I'm not promoting that program nor am I going against the program but what I want you to be able to see is step back and look at the fact that in order to get into the secret practical application information level that you first have to prepare yourself to do so. You have to step back and see each step that you have to take. It's like going to college. All right, when I was growing up, you had to go through elementary, then high school, then college, and then you can get this great job. But you have to do each step in order to get there. Now, life changes consistently. If you want to become a great person and make and start a business, it was, you know, you have to have money, you got to have an idea, you got to be able to execute that idea, you have to have, know the location or how the service is going to be done. You really need what nowadays we would call a treatment of business, not a business plan, you need a treatment of business which is like two, three pages instead of a business plan, which could be like 14 pages. You see, things change, but you gotta understand how to do that very thing. You know, uh, some of the people that I like to listen to is your Les Browns and Lisa Nichols and, and uh, well, Zig Ziglar, he's passed on now, but um, your Tony Robbins. And one of the things I've noticed from all of them is that they give you some information, but then they'll have more expensive and higher level training programs where they then will take you behind, as they say, the black curtain to then teach you exactly how they create their ascension programs so that they can then graduate people from step to step to step, right? I'm not, again, I'm not going against any of those guys for creating that. They have earned the right to be able to do it. You know, if you, it, 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 there was a little meme that came out a few days that I happened to notice a few days ago. And the, the guy was asking the graphic artist, why am I paying you so much to do something that only took you 10 minutes to do? And the graphic artist said, because I spent 10 years learning how to do this in 10 minutes. So in order for you to be able to, to create, you have to first get yourself ready, step back, see every detail that needs to be in place in order for you to be able to do something. But here's the thing, you can't sit back and just learn it. You have to put it into action. You have to execute on that thing. And then once you execute, and here's the meat of everything that I'm saying, you have to execute, and then in order to go to the next step and to continue, you have to be able to continuously execute to maintain that level. Right now, the amount of money you make is based on the amount of money you're willing to execute to maintain it. If you want to make more money, execute at a higher level, execute at the level that makes that amount of money. If you want to have a love in your life, a certain romantic love in your life, execute at that level that maintains that romance and that love. If you want to have a certain spirituality, execute at that level that maintains that. If you don't, you won't receive it. But that's the meat and potatoes of it, guys. Execute, execute, execute for each level, maintain it. So, hey, my greatness is non-negotiable and so is yours.